Number 19 in uh, 88 Films Asia range comes the Super Inframan, a kind of takeoff of Ultraman of sorts. The kind of thing most prevalently shown in the UK would be uh, a kind of cross between Monkey or Power Rangers, you know, those kind of movies. In this one, we have the awakening of a spirit um, princess Dragonum, Dragonmon. Um, who awakens these uh, monsters to kind of tear the earth apart but scientists have a solution for this maniacal problem they have uh, the ability to create Inframan uh, a man who seemingly has all these components added to his body and with uh, just some quick over the top overlays on screen can turn into our eponymous hero who's going to save the day in wacky and colourful fashion. It's a throwaway science fiction movie that's very bright and colourful and extremely fun to watch. It's silly. It's a man in a red suit versus a man in a monster suit. Sometimes they're big, sometimes they're regular sized, but it's always the same kind of thing. It's very creative and very fun. And I really had a lot of uh, enjoyment watching the Super Inframan. I wasn't sure what I was expecting, uh, but I had a great deal of pleasure in it. It's not something that is deep thematically or is anything that's going to stick with you. It was just an incredibly throwaway, fun action movie. The action itself is pretty entertaining. There are some moments uh, with the monsters that look completely uncanny. They just don't look like real things. They're, they're just foam creations. The whole look of the thing is almost comic booky. It's silly entertainment. You get to see people doing uh, mid-air flips, uh, fighting these rubber monsters as the tentacles grab other people. We have elaborate uh, contraptions set up to monitor uh, various things that are just there to be destroyed later on. The over the top of Dragon Mana uh, woman is just maniacal, uh, Dr. Evil like character, and it's quite clearly a good versus evil movie. The kind of thing that's just fun to watch. There's not really much to really say about this. I love the creativity, I love the super bright colours, the silliness of the monsters was kind of fun, the silliness of the plot was just enjoyable. It's a kind of movie that you can sit down, completely switch off and just enjoy the heck out of, which I did with the Super Inframan. Have you seen it? Did you enjoy it? Let me know in the comment box below. I'll see you next time on Man V Films.